Hi everyone. Um, so today I'm actually outside. Um, I'm going to kind of show you guys a little bit about, I get a lot of questions about product photography. And so today I'm going to attempt to um, show you how I take my photography pictures. So I've had this tent. It's a few years old. Well, probably like 10 years old. Um, so it's a little bit beat up and it's a little bit windy outside, but I'm going to do my best to get you guys a video. If not, we'll, um, do it another time. Um, I will be using, I use this particular camera for my product photography. It's, um, a Nikon D3100. Okay. So let's try this again. Sorry. The neighborhood dogs are barking, but I'm going to be using my Nikon D3100 and the settings that you're going to use are really going to depend on the day um, and, I mean, just the natural lighting. This is going to block out your harsh light, your shadows, the tent is. Um, it's going to prevent you from having shadows on your pictures and you won't have to edit them out later. Um, I shoot in manual, um, manual mode. And for this temperature, I mean, for this type of lighting, I'm going to use an F stop of eight and a shutter speed of 100 um, if it is darker outside you're gonna want to lower that shutter speed down um, but it's really important that when you're using a very low shutter speed that you're really really still okay so the shutter speed you're gonna want to keep it if it's like on a 60 or a 40 um, if you have a tripod that is ideal um, however, if you do not, you just want to keep it still because the shutter speed is basically that. It's how fast your shutter is going to close. And so if you have it on a very low shutter speed, that means it's going to take some time to sh um, close the shutter. And your pictures can be grainy or they can be out of focus. Um, the higher it is, you're going to get a better picture um, because you're using more natural light. So, um, it is super bright out here today. There's like no overcast. So I'm using the tent. Um, oh, there's actually a cloud now. Um, so I'm going to be using, um, if it is full light outside, you could go from 100 to 120, um, even higher. You could just kind of see the, you know, take the picture and see what is going to be the best picture. Um, so as that cloud passes, I'm going to go ahead and take this picture and you can see it here and then I will put the picture that I took in the frame. Okay so now we have moved to a new item and of course there's some clouds rolling in so um, because it is more overcast now I'm going to change take my shutter speed down to about an 80 and let's see what this gets okay. okay so for me I like to have my pictures as close to ready right out of the right out of the camera. Now I just do some light editing um, using Photoscape. And I just use that to like lighten it a little bit or darken it up or if I want to add some sharpening. Okay, so now we are back inside and I am going to go ahead and just do a quick edit on these. And like I said, I use Photoscape um, for, uh, to edit my product photography. It's super easy. I can't remember if it's downloaded through uh, photoscape.net or photoscape.org, but I will confirm that for you when I post this. But I'm just going to do a quick crop. And the color on it is perfect in my opinion um, if I want to darken it a little bit or deepen it you know you can go ahead and just click that and it's gonna 
add a little bit more color by deepening it or darkening it. Uh, if it is too dark, you can brighten it up. But in this case, I don't want my my bow to disappear. So I think it's actually perfect just the way it is. Um, because this particular fabric has a, a little bit of a texture to it and I want to make it pop a little bit more, I might go ahead and sharpen it. So I just click sharpen and it's going to go ahead and just do uh, its own little auto adjust on it. Now at this point I would add my little watermark and this one is just a basic one. Um, I do have other ones but we're going to go ahead and just use that one real quick. And then you're just going to save it and that's it. Um, this one is the red bow. And again you can see it's just perfect right out of the camera so it doesn't require a lot of editing. I'm just going to go ahead and crop it a little bit. Doesn't need any color adjustment. Um, but because it has this texture here in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and sharpen it to make it a little bit more defined so it can actually be seen. I'm going to go ahead and add my watermark and then save it. And then the last one is going to be this mauve bow. And again, it's just perfect right out of the camera. I'm going to go ahead and crop it. Let's see, I might darken this one a little bit. So it reflects a bit closer to the actual color. So I'm going to just darken it just a tiny bit and then hit OK. Sharpen it. This is actually really good. Like if you have something with rhinestones, you can sharpen it and it's going to really bring it to life. Add in my watermark. And that's basically it. Okay, you guys, that's all for today's video. I hope that you guys found this video to be helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Make sure you like, give us a like, and if you would please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. You guys have a great day.